when I'm working with a band who I've not recorded, but they're supplying me with a finished piece of product that I expect me to mix. Well, this happens in two different ways. One way I get a, a phone call or an email or whatever it is from a band in Norway, and this is I'm just giving you that as an example. And uh, let's say it's a hard rock band and they, they, they can't afford to come to the US. This is one circumstance. They can't afford to come. Obviously, it's very expensive. Um, can you mix this for us? Of course, you know, we discuss budget, we get that all together. And they send me the files. We open up the mix, uh, or the, what is going to be the mix, and we start putting things together. And I say, I'll tell you what we do. Here's the day. It's broken into a certain number of hours, 12 hours. And the first, like we talked about earlier, I'll mess around with it, get the rough mix together, and the concept of the mix will be ready roughly in about six hours. You can see and hear the shape of it, the sounds, the reverb, some of that stuff. That immediately goes out via email um, to the guy's house, and I said, you better be up ready for it. <laughs> and they listen, they come back with a couple of comments, I do some tweaks, get it back to them, and we go back and forth a few times. We're on the same page. We know the direction. That's one way. And that usually works out pretty well. Uh, and in the end, it's that final mix going to tape and the digital version, and we pick between the two. Everybody's happy. That's one way. The other way is the band, say, is a local band here in LA. Um, but before we even get to the mixing, I will have listened to a rough mix that the band has supplied. This is the general direction. I listen to, oh, OK, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I see where you're going. But you know, we can really expand this and make it a lot bigger, fatter, deeper, have more interest, more uh, movement, possibly, or whatever. These are the discussion we would have before I even get into the studio. And I will tell the band precisely the same thing as I tell the band from Norway. Here's a band in LA. Look, don't come into the studio for until, say, 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock. Then I'll have something for you to listen to, and then we can discuss it. They come in. We listen. Yeah, the, the lead guitar player says, you know, there's too much rhythm guitar here. We need, that's not the focus. We need to focus more on this. Fine, no problem. The singer says, well, you know, could you give me more some sort of delay here? No problem. So we discuss everything, and we come up with a final decision. Here's the direction. I've been pushing this particular direction. Hopefully they would agree. And they can either go away and take a break, or maybe the guitar player is the producer or the co-producer, and he wants to be involved. Fine, hang out, you know. And they just watch and dig the process. And um, at the end of the day, we come up with a great sounding mix. The question is, how does one deal with, say, the band in Norway when they're on a different time frame, and the mix is almost there, and you think you've got it, but there's still a problem? Uh, what we do is, we know that the mix is this close to being finished. And let's say it's too late in the day to do any more. I will leave one last mix up on the board with as many tweaks as I can. And the following morning, we will come in at, at 10.30. Um, we would have already sent it to him overnight, and we will get the reply, and we'll look at it. Oh, OK, this one little thing needs a fix. We do the fix, send it to him immediately. How is this? Done. Because we have to move on. You have to tell him, look, you're paying for this. You only have X number of dollars per day. You go over that, you're screwed. So you're going to have to make up your mind. Either you like it or you don't. <laughs> you know, It's your money. The indecision of the artist. I know we're this close. I know that I'm pretty sure that my, my concept of the mix will be the final one. But I'm always open to suggestion. So what I will do is I'll do two mixes, two final mixes, one with what the artist is thinking and one with mine. And then we, we let it sit, because we have to keep moving on. We can't stay there in that one spot. We're, at least I'll have two different mixes that Hopefully, one will satisfy th what the artist is thinking, and I know what I'm thinking in terms of what its commercial appeal could be. That the artist may be missing the point 
The point is that it's the song, it's not your guitar solo. <laughs> There's the example. 